Hello developers, I'm sure you had a moment where your Xcode looks messy and tacky and it's very difficult for you to handle the code. Today I'm going to show you how do I organize my Xcode. It's neat and neat but it's not that much difficult to handle. Uh, let me share you with the Xcode structure that I follow. So we have the visual and for to show to demonstrate you I have created a sample project called organizer. Let me show you the architecture and the file pattern that I prefer to use while I'm doing application development. So you know the parent node is uh, the project name and then I have total top four categories app external dependencies, app modules, app UI and app utilities. So the external dependencies will have all the third party libraries that you would be using but it does not have the Cocoa ports because the Cocoa ports will have its different target. But for example, if you are downloading any files, any uh, any uh, manual framework that you have built for your own private use, then, it, you, then you need to put that inside this. In this, there is two options. Either it's going to be generic or ta target support. Now the target support will have the assets. And in generic, you can have all the uh, generic dependencies like a common files is there common views are there inside the common view I have created some of the view that would be used for confirmation alert etc etc then my app delegate and app manager will also go inside this generic because ultimately app is dependent on those if I go out of this and I went to the constant you can see the my constant files then I have files folder which contains only google plays for now but in future if I'm going to use the gtm file then the json file of gtm will also go under this and if I'm using any third party libraries like snake OWASP and OWASP for vulnerability assessment and if I need to put any files inside this then it will also go under this now let's move to the next one app module so this is the most important and used feature what I prefer uh, I prefer to categorize all the modules for example there's going to be an authentication module then uh, payment module then the subscribe module then the dashboard so I will categorize all the module and then I will have all the internal files listed inside that module so let us open the authentication module here you can see these are three functions control model and UI because this is not a wipe architecture if I would be using the wipe architecture then the folder structure would differ now in controller there would be only two controller or three controller whatever you need for your authentication purpose and the model will contain the model only and the UI will have the storyboard or the XIB or NIB or the cells or whatever file you are using for the UI specifically for those categories now what I prefer I prefer to keep different storyboards for different modules because I don't want my storyboard to be loaded heavily bulky that's on the out and moving to the UI the UI will have the generic UI across the application like the main storyboard is there it will just have a navigation from the parent view controls like in my uh, organizer I prefer to have a storyboard which has one parent view controller that will initiate the route from authentication to the dashboard to the subscription module that's how I prefer and the last but not least its utilities so it means the database, extensions, networking, etc, etc will come under this. If I go to the networking, I can see there is a network manager, network monitor in the background session. Those are the class that I need to handle my networking. Logging, we just have some of the informative files which would be used to log the, uh, uh, the data from the application. And then there are some extensions and some DBs. In DBs, I prefer to have the different manager so that I could do the job independently. Yeah, that's it. It was a smaller video this time. I just wanted to showcase you how I organize my Xcode. I know it's not best, but I think, but this is really good for the developer. If you feel like you can do better than this, or if you have a better Xcode organization than this, then please let me know below in comments. See you soon.